Every autumn, as the UK cools and the days grow shorter, a familiar sense of anticipation fills the air. One question returns to households up and down the country. Will we get a white Christmas this year? It's a national obsession, sparking endless conversations in pubs, offices, and living rooms, and dramatic headlines in newspapers and online. Our fascination with snow is deeply woven into British culture, recalling legendary winters like 1947 and 1963, when snowdrifts blocked roads and life ground to a halt. Even the mere hint of snow excites or worries us depending on our plans. Will it mean travel chaos or a magical day off? Snow transforms the landscape overnight, muffling noise and evoking childhood memories of snowmen, snowball fights, and sledging down the nearest hill. The anticipation is half the fun. We scan forecasts, check our phones, and hope for that elusive snowflake symbol to appear. The annual snow watch has become a modern British tradition, fueled by media hype about Siberian blasts and beasts from the east, making every cold snap headline news. We're a nation of weather watchers, and snow is the most dramatic disruptive event we face, capable of bringing cities to a standstill and sparking a sense of shared experience. It's a break from routine, a reminder that nature is in charge, and sometimes, all we can do, is watch and wait. Of course, reality rarely matches the dream. A mere dusting can cause chaos on the roads and railways, while a heavy fall can bring the country to a complete standstill, closing schools and stranding cars. Still, we long for that perfect picturesque snowfall, the kind that turns villages into winter wonderlands and brings neighbors together. As winter 2025 approaches, speculation is already swirling, with experts and amateurs alike making their predictions. Will this be a winter to remember? One for the history books. Let's see what the science says, and whether this year's snow speculation will finally deliver the magic we all hope for. Snow in the UK is a unique experience, shaped by our island's mild maritime climate. The Atlantic's warmth keeps our winters just above freezing, so we often get rain or sleet instead of snow. Unlike Canada or Scandinavia, where snow is routine, here it's a novelty, especially in the south. Our infrastructure isn't built for regular snow, so even a few inches can close schools and snarl roads. Snow is most common in the Scottish Highlands, Pennines, and Welsh Mountains. In London it's a rare event. Our snow is often wet and heavy, perfect for snowmen but tough on power lines and roads. In colder countries, snow is drier and easier to clear. The unpredictability and rarity of UK snow make it both magical and disruptive. We're always on a meteorological knife edge, never quite sure what we'll get. When snow does arrive, it brings challenges unique to our mild climate. That's why every flake feels like an event. For snow to fall and settle in the UK, a precise sequence of events must align perfectly, almost like nature's own recipe for winter magic. It's not just about cold weather, several factors must come together at just the right moment. First, we need cold air. Temperatures from the clouds, all the way down to the ground must be at or below zero degrees Celsius. If the air is even slightly warmer at any point, the snow's journey to the ground can be interrupted. If a warm layer sneaks in between the clouds and the ground, snowflakes melt into sleet or rain before they ever reach us. This is why we often see a wintry mix instead of a true snowfall. Next, we need moisture, which is usually delivered by Atlantic weather systems sweeping in from the west. These systems bring the clouds and precipitation necessary for snow to form. When moist air collides with cold air, snow can form, if, and only if, the ground is cold enough for it to settle. Otherwise, the snow melts as soon as it lands. The ocean that gives us moisture also keeps things mild, so it's a constant battle between cold and warmth. The UK's proximity to the sea means temperatures can rise quickly, making lasting snow a rare treat. The exact path of a low-pressure system is crucial. A shift of just 50 miles can mean the difference between a snowy wonderland and a rainy day. Meteorologists watch these systems closely, but predicting their path is a real challenge. Heavy persistent snow is more likely to settle, especially overnight when the ground is coldest and there's less sunlight to melt the flakes. Nighttime snowfalls often create the most magical winter scenes by morning. Often, the first flakes melt on contact with the ground, but if the snow keeps coming, it can quickly transform the landscape from green to white, blanketing everything in a soft, silent layer. Timing is everything. 
nighttime snow has the best chance to stick, as the coldest temperatures help it accumulate and last into the next day. That's why UK snow is so hard to predict, and why it's so exciting when it finally arrives. Each snowfall feels special, a rare event that brings out the child in all of us. It's a delicate dance of temperature, moisture, and timing. A scientific balancing act that makes every snowy day in the UK a small meteorological miracle. The source of cold air is key to any UK snow event. Without the right conditions, snow simply can't form or settle. But where does this cold air actually come from, and why does it matter so much for our winter weather? Arctic air arrives when high pressure to the north sends frigid air south, often bringing wintry showers to northern and western coasts. This air mass is typically very cold and can sweep across the country, transforming rain into snow, especially in exposed areas. The most dramatic cold comes from the east, Siberian air, famously behind the beast from the east. This weather pattern can plunge temperatures well below freezing, catching many off guard and leading to some of the most memorable snowfalls in recent history. This air is dry and bitterly cold, but as it crosses the North Sea, it picks up moisture and dumps heavy snow on eastern Britain. The result? Sudden intense snowstorms that can blanket entire regions in just a few hours. In 2018, this setup caused widespread disruption far inland. Roads were blocked, schools closed, and daily life ground to a halt as communities struggled to cope with the extreme conditions. Sometimes, cold comes from Greenland, but after crossing the Atlantic, it's often milder and wetter, bringing snow mainly to hills and mountains. This type of snow is less likely to reach lowland areas, but it can still create beautiful winter scenes in the highlands. The origin of the cold, Arctic, Siberian, or Greenlandic, determines the severity and reach of our snow. Each source brings its own unique character, shaping the way winter unfolds across the country. Not every winter brings these patterns, but when they do, they're unforgettable. Snow transforms familiar places, creating memories that last for years. The interplay of cold sources and moisture is what makes UK snow so unpredictable. A slight shift in wind direction or temperature can mean the difference between rain and a winter wonderland. Each setup writes its own chapter in our winter story, adding to the rich tapestry of British weather history. That's why meteorologists watch the skies so closely, using advanced technology and years of experience to predict when and where snow might fall. The right air, from the right place, at the right time, that's the recipe for a snowy UK winter, and when all the ingredients come together, the results can be truly magical. The jet stream and pressure systems control the big picture. When the jet stream flows straight west to east, we get mild wet winters, snow is rare. For snow, we need the jet stream to dip south or become blocked, letting cold air flood in. A blocking high over Scandinavia brings cold easterlies. Over the UK, it means frosty dry weather. The best snow comes when a blocking high meets a low pressure system from the southwest the battleground where cold and moisture collide. The exact track of these systems is everything. A low moving up the English Channel can blanket England and Wales in snow. Meteorologists use computer models to predict these patterns, but it's a delicate, ever-changing dance. Ultimately, the jet stream's twists and turns decide if we get a mild drizzle or a winter wonderland. So, what's in store for winter 2025? Long-range forecasts are about trends, not certainties. This year, a weak to moderate La Nina is developing, which often brings blocked patterns and colder, drier conditions to the UK. The quasi-biennial oscillation is in its easterly phase, increasing the chance of a sudden stratospheric warming event, potentially weakening the jet stream and letting cold air in. The models suggest a higher likelihood of blocking highs, especially from January onwards. This doesn't guarantee snow for everyone but it does raise the odds of significant cold spells and snow reaching further south we could see more frequent northerly and easterly winds, bringing snow to places that haven't seen much in years. The science points to a winter with more potential for snow than usual, but as always, the UK's weather keeps us guessing. When heavy snow hits, the UK slows down, roads become treacherous, travel grinds to a halt, and even a few inches can cause chaos. Railways and airports struggle, with delays and cancellations rippling across the country. Schools close, delighting children but challenging parents. Businesses lose productivity as staff stay home and supply chains stall. 
Yet snow also brings out community spirit, neighbors help each other, and parks fill with families sledging and building snowmen. The landscape's quiet beauty encourages us to pause and appreciate the moment. For a few days, life's priorities shift. Stay warm, stay safe, and enjoy the rare magic. The disruption is real, but so is the sense of togetherness. Snow days are a break from routine, a chance to reconnect with our surroundings. That's why, despite the chaos, we secretly hope for them. With a colder winter possible, preparation is key. Service your boiler, insulate pipes, and know how to turn off your water in case of a burst. Stock up on essentials, non-perishable food, bottled water, torches, batteries, a radio, and a first aid kit. Keep blankets, warm clothes, and a power bank handy. Make sure you have enough medication if you rely on it. Before traveling, check forecasts and traffic updates from reliable sources. If you must drive, ensure your car is winter ready. Tires, antifreeze, screen wash, and a winter kit with food, water, a shovel, and a torch. Clear all snow and ice from your vehicle before setting off. Avoid unnecessary journeys. Public transport will be disrupted. Wear sturdy footwear if walking and help vulnerable neighbors where you can. A little planning goes a long way to staying safe and comfortable. Be ready, and you can focus on enjoying the best of winter. As winter 2025 approaches, Forecasts hint at more cold and snow than usual. While disruption is likely, so is the chance for a memorable, magical winter. Snow forces us to slow down, adapt, and see our world anew. Let's be prepared, but also ready to enjoy it. Build snowmen, sledge, and take in the beauty. Check on neighbors and share the experience. Weather connects us all. No forecast is perfect, but unpredictability is part of the charm. Whether we get a fleeting flurry or a deep blanket, this winter will have its own story. With preparation and a positive outlook, we can make it a story worth remembering. So, hats and scarves at the ready, keep an eye on the forecast, and hope for the best. Here's to a winter to remember.